Okay, sir, this is Mr. Kamau with policeabuse.com, and I just want to start with the, the message you left on our voicemail. You have, or you're in the process of a divorce with the wife who is involved with a police officer and he's causing you problems? Yeah. Okay, tell me the name of the officer, the name of the police department, and then give me some detail. Uh, the officer's name is Billy Raymond. The police department is Somerville, the Somerville Police Department. Okay, Somerville Police Department, where is that located? Uh, Fayette County, Tennessee. Okay. And how do you know the officer is involved with your wife? Because uh, he, he's, that's the reason for our divorce. Because she's and having... We've already... She's having... Yeah, we've already... Go ahead. Okay, she was having an affair with the officer while you were married? Right, exactly. And how did you find out about it? Uh, one of my friends that just told me about, hey, you know, they've been, they've seen them together, they go to lunch together all the time, yada, yada. And then I asked her about it, and of course she denied it, denied it, denied it. And then I found it to be true. So this was, you know, over a year ago. Okay. And, uh, now, well, let me ask you a question. Did he know her before he was a police officer, or has this been going on? I mean, what's, what's their relationship right. before you guys got married? My wife and I? No, no. What What was your wife's relationship to this officer before you got married? Did oh, she know him, hey, or did she meet him while he was a, a police officer? She's oh. actually the CMFO for the same town that he's an officer for. Okay, okay. And you said she's, what is her What is her position? You said CMFO? She's a municipal fire officer or something like that. Okay, and she works for the city, the same city that he works for? Right, and and uh, this is the Somerville Police Department in Tennessee. Right. Okay. Was the police department aware that he was having this affair with your wife, or do you have any idea? Oh yeah, they, they definitely were. They were, they, were, uh, they were. they were actually doing it with the chief of police. I mean, they they were having the affair right in front of the chief. Okay. How do you know that? Because I've seen it, and I mean, they, they, they told me. I mean, even, even the officer itself, I mean, he, he told me last night when he was texting me on the phone and harassing me that, uh, you know, I told him, I said, well, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you into court. And he said, well, go ahead. Everybody around here knows about me and her. They shake my hand for it. So let me ask you this. And that brings me to the most important part of this phone call, aside from the issues with your wife. I do want more specifics on that. But you're telling me, or at least you left the message, and I want to verify this, that he's actually threatening you and he's sending you text messages? Yes, exactly. I mean, he, 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 sent, a me he sent me a message at one point in time that said, uh, you know, he, what he did is he, actually, he sent it to my telephone and he, and he was meaning to send it to my wife's phone. And the exact words on the text were, I don't care who's with him, the next time I see him, I'm breaking. Do me a favor. Do you, do, hold on. Do you have those with you right now? Yeah, they're actually on my telephone right now. Okay, I'm going to give you my cell phone number. I want you to send me every message that he sent you. Okay. Okay, you ready? Uh, Let me know when you're ready. Okay, I, other reports on him. I mean, even, like, when I, when, when I first got split up, man, I, I moved in with one of my friends because I gave my wife the house. So, at one point in time, the house, my house opened in. Well, this guy was driving... This is this. He, he was driving by my house, actually. You know, just I mean, you know, just, just driving by the house and saying that he was going to whip me up. Okay, so man. he's at, hold on, he, hold on, stop. He's actually come by your house in the patrol car. No, no, it's the first. He, he did it in the personal vehicle. Okay, what kind of car does he drive? Um, a Mustang GT. What color is it? It's red. Okay. And that's the same car he drives to work. Right, exactly. He, he drives. Sometimes he takes his patrol car to work, and something else. And sometimes he brings his patrol car home, and sometimes he takes his Mustang. Okay, let me go back to this issue of this affair. Um, it's inappropriate for a police officer to do what you're describing, and depending on the agency. They will sometimes fire an officer for that kind of conduct, especially if it's flagrant. Other agencies are kind of like a little more, you know, less worried about that. But my question to you is, 
were you was your wife deceiving you for an extended period of time in this affair with this guy? Or did, I mean, it's one thing. Let me give you an example. It's one thing if this cop met your wife, they got together, they you know didn't have sex or anything, but knew there was an interest. She told you the divorce was in process, and then you know they kind of furthered their relationship. Or it's a different story if you're saying that this was all kept. You were kept completely in the dark. She was having an illicit affair. They were cheating on you for a yeah. long period of time, and they That's never it. planned on telling you. Yeah, that was it. I found out on my own. I mean, he, I, I even, when I, when I, you know, when people first started telling me, I even talked to him myself personally and was like, look, you know, what's going on? Oh, nothing's going on. We're just friends, yada, yada. You know, we both have to hear my kid and your kid are the same age. And it, I mean, he, 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 he until I got my wife in court on the bench, you know, when I put her on the stand in court, that's when she finally admitted the fact that she was having a Hey, sir, sir, I'm sorry. Where, where are you right now? I'm on my way. I'm walking out the door. I'm in, I'm in a plant. Hello? Okay, so let's start again where we left off. Uh, tell me, you, you were talking about your wife in the situation. She was keeping you in the dark. Go, I, lo I couldn't hear a lot of that. Can you just repeat, how was it that you did not know and how did you find out? You said you confronted him at some point? Yeah, I confronted him about it at one point. He said, oh, no, you know, we're just friends. You're barking up the wrong tree, yada, yada. And I said, you know, well, if you're just friends, then, I mean, you, why, are you texting me, why are you texting my wife 20, 35 times a day? I mean, that's just that's being more than friends, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And, I mean, she was actually bringing his, his daughter to my house. And I thought, you know, oh, you know, that's just one of her girlfriend's kids. Okay. I had no idea. Now, did he did he confess to the affair, or did just your wife confirm it? Oh, uh, my wife confirmed it, and then he, after that, then he confessed to it. Okay. Now, how, how do you know the police department is aware of it, other than you suspect that? Did, did you ever, did anyone did you ever tell the police department that this was going on? Yeah, I, yeah, I talked to the chief of police itself. You talked to the chief, yeah, and you yeah. and you told him, and what did he tell you? Oh, it's their personal, their personal life, none of our concern here. Their personal life, and and this is while he was having an affair with your wife over what period of time? How much time did this go on? Oh, oh, it's been almost two years now. Okay, all right, okay. I was, this is what I need you to do. the The issue of whether or not the police department should have taken action is a matter for the community and the city council to figure out. Um, so we'll come back to that later. At this point, we can help you by simply addressing this threatening uh, email or text that you got or over several days. How many times has he sent you a text that had some sort of implied threat or direct threat? Uh, he sent a whole bunch of them yesterday. And I your house. So he, uh, hold on, hold on. So he was, oh, 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 so he was taunting you, teasing you about the fact that you gave your house up to give it to your wife and now he's in it? Yeah, exactly. Saying he's sleeping in my bed, you know, he's sorry that he's sleeping in my bed and I'm living with my mother or whoever else will take me in. Okay, this is an actual police officer in Somerville, Tennessee. Right, and he, he and, and, and yesterday while he was making these comments to me on text message, he was actually on duty at the same time. Okay, well, let me tell you something. Unless you have an objection, this is going on the front page of policeabuse.com. Okay. All right. It's going up in about half an hour. Uh, this is a very, very serious complaint. Uh, I can think of at least five violations tied to what you've described in the last eight minutes. Uh, a few of them I'll, I'll highlight. One is the affair in and of itself is inappropriate. That's, that's just not right. And a police department that condones that kind of conduct, you know, it's everybody's adults now, and I know that you know our adults now. You can think of things differently than you might have 50 years ago. But on the same token, this is a police officer having an affair with a married woman, and it sounds like he, you know, was going out of his way uh, to. He's, he's also married right now. He, he, he hasn't even filed for a divorce. He's still married to his wife currently. You just doubled my point. I, exactly, it's a problem. And then the second issue. Uh, is the fact that he's making threats to you through you know, text messages. I mean, not only is that stupid, but that's recoverable data that can be used to get him fired, and that's what I'm going to try to do. 
So uh, I have a few other things I'll need for you from you to get that done, but I think I can give it a pretty good shot. Okay. All right. So send me the text messages right now. Send me photographs of him and your wife if you have them or either one of them. Send me anything I mean, else. I, I, go ahead. Send me anything else that you I have. have any fo- I, I, don't, I don't have any photographs of him, but I do have photographs of him in his car, with his car at my home. That's fine. I, any, any, even his car. I don't care if he's not in it. I need photographs of the things you have described in this phone call. Everything's evidence. Okay, so send it to me now. I'm going to give you an email address. Okay. Uh, can you text, when I, when I text the email, can you, because uh, I don't have anything to write on right that, That's okay. You, you, you text, me the te- text me the text messages, and I will respond with an email address where you can send me everything. Okay, that'll work. Okay. Listen, I'll talk to you tomorrow morning if you're available. Send me everything tonight. I want to look at it, and this will be on the front page of policebeast.com in an hour if I can verify anything that you're telling me now on this call. All right. I'm looking for it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh Uh-huh. Bye.